The other thought is there are not many homes right now willing to take a 12 and 13 year old sibling group. And this is going to sound <clears throat> so bad, but this is the reality of our country. A 12 and 13 year old sibling group of minority status. It's just not, unfortunately, what a lot of homes will take. Hi, Cursling's. Today, we are back with a super quick update video, as Alicia Doherty has revealed that N has moved out, adding it to the bottom of the description for both of the shorts that she posted today. Alicia writes, N recently moved out. We are now a family of 13 with 11 kids. And that's, that's it. That's all she wrote. That's all Alicia has publicly said so far. Responding to comments with orange hearts and feeling the love emojis and any topic that has nothing to do with N. So how did we get here? For those of you who have been following the Biomom arc, this development will likely not come as a surprise to you, as the Biomom has been very vocal on social media about wanting to remove her children from Alicia Doherty's care since March, as it was in March that she claimed her daughter had had a mental health crisis, which would later be confirmed by Alicia Doherty. It was also during this time that it was revealed that Biomom had asked Alicia Doherty for what was interpreted as financial help, which Alicia Doherty refused, as Biomom at that time was a recently sober addict. During her daughter's crisis, Biomom sent a friend to the Doherty's to get her daughter, a person allegedly unknown to the Doherty's, which in turn caused Alicia and Josh to call the police and take out a restraining order. Feeling helpless, the Biomom turned to Alicia Doherty's hate community. You can imagine how that went. As that's when things started to get out of hand. Biomom was platformed by some creators and many of Alicia's detractors rallied behind her. GoFundMes were proposed, people began to donate money, gift cards, and even purchase things for her from her Amazon wish list. Her close friend also reached out to creators for help, including me, and even DCP's lawyer gave Biomom some legal advice. It's when Biomom started a GoFundMe for $20,000 to purchase a prefabricated home that the tides began to turn against her. I don't even know how to say that. I uh, started a GoFundMe and I just want to let everybody know that I do not support it and I do not endorse it. As people started to question her motives, it was obvious she was still in a fragile place in her recovery journey and now it seems she was taking advantage of her newfound popularity to get money. After her court dates in May, Biomom would go quiet, leading many, including myself, to quietly fear that she had fallen off the wagon, as the heightened drama between her and Alicia Doherty being played out in a public forum had clearly not been good for her mental state. In July, Biomom resurfaced on a new Facebook account and began posting publicly again, writing in this post from August 15th, I have court Thursday. Pray, please, for my daughter. I need to find a relative to take her in ASAP, implying that things have continued to degrade for N within the Doherty household, something many have wondered about but have been without concrete proof of. In fact, one of the major gripes that Biomom had with Alicia Doherty was the exploitation of her children, especially of her daughter, who Biomom felt Alicia had intentionally influenced and even pressured into dressing in revealing outfits. I don't want to be pretty, I want to be iconic. Hair go long like Chia, money go long like Nia, I ain't in the big idea outfits that would draw more attention to Alicia's platform and in turn generate more revenue. A feeling that was echoed by many among Alicia Doherty's older and more conservative-minded detractors. Whatever the truth was, one of Biomom's demands was for Alicia Doherty to stop filming her kids, especially N, who Alicia would later reveal was taking a quote, social media break. 
and for a while it seemed like Alicia was going to comply. But soon D and later N began to appear in Doherty Dozen content again, much to the ire of her hate community. Presumably because a deal had been struck with the judge overseeing the kinship placement that would give Alicia the ability to film them. Outwardly, things seemed to be good. Though some felt like they could detect N's unhappiness in some of the vlogs. N started dating, the family went on a massive trip to Las Vegas, and things seemed to be settling back into some degree of normalcy. Fast forward to September 6th, where Bio Mom would write on Facebook, If my babies can see this, I love you D, N, and K. I think of you every day. I'm starting this entire process over again, going to ACC even though I'm in a safe place. I miss my family more than I can ever put in words. Now, what's interesting about this post is that from what it sounds like, Bio Mom absolutely did fall off the wagon, like many of us worried behind the scenes. And to be honest, this wasn't surprising news to me, as the scales are tipped in Alicia's favor. She has the money, seeming stability, and influence that Bio Mom doesn't. It was a Sisyphean problem from the start. Una bomba para bailar, esto es una bomba bringing us to the present and Alicia's single sentence update on N moving out of the house. And to be honest, it's hard to know moving forward if Alicia Doherty will address this in more detail, as in the past, she's been pretty loose-lipped about the kinship placement situation. But it's anyone's guess if she will now, as it's been revealed that her relationship with Biomom wasn't exactly how she framed it back in 2022. But we were asked to take placement of a 12 and 13 year old sibling group of somebody that I grew up with. So I know this family personally. Um, <clears throat> no doubt the Doherty's lawyers have also advised them to say as little as possible about it, especially if Alicia is going to fight for custody. As for Dee, it looks like he has decided to stay, something that a lot of people figured would happen should N want to leave and did leave as many believe that Alicia Doherty has used expensive gifts and money to bribe the children into performing in her content. It's also worth noting, however, that Dee has been excelling in his athletic pursuits, pursuits that may have potentially set him on a path that could lead to college scholarships and sponsorships and maybe even a career. And definitely having coach dad Josh as a mentor is an added bonus. So I can understand if he doesn't want to lose that. As for N, I feel bad for her. She has become a pawn in a tug of war between two selfish women in their 40s, each of which have their own destructive addictions that have negatively impacted aspects of their life. As for where she's gone and who might have taken her in, I have some ideas, but no concrete details. And even if it is revealed to the public, I don't think it's any of our business anymore as the important thing is that she's now out of the public's eye. After all, this is what everyone wanted, right? For N to no longer be exploited by Alicia Doherty. The least we can do is respect that poor girl's privacy. As for Alicia Doherty, N's sudden departure might explain Alicia's chaotic behavior in last week's vlogs. As many had noted her disorganized behavior, leading to all kinds of speculation as to why she was behaving that way. I won't repeat what some people said here, but what I can say is that stress from something like one of your kids moving out would very likely be a factor in any sort of dysregulation she was experiencing. I also think that the next two years are probably going to be very interesting for Alicia Doherty's platform, as Big A ages out of the house and presumably will go to college, followed by J and D respectively. In the past, Alicia has said that once the kids aged out of the home that she would like to continue to foster adopt more children, much to the chagrin of her husband, Josh, who she has also said would have preferred a smaller family. So it remains to be seen if Alicia will actually move forward with this plan to replace kids or if Josh will be successful in putting a kibosh on it. Obviously, we would be crazy to take two more kids, right? <laughs> like, what are we thinking? Uh, it's a really tough decision and we have to make that decision this weekend. And to be honest, something tells me we're probably going to see new additions to the Doherty roll call in the near future. Because at this point, it isn't about the kids anymore. Or even what Josh wants. It's about Alicia Doherty maintaining her image, her platform, and more importantly, her revenue stream, as without it, they can no longer support their lifestyle. 
after all, taking in N&D in the first place hinged on Alicia's ability to film and record them, something that's not permitted with foster placements. <clears throat> it would not change anything social media wise. So not that that would be a deciding factor, but because they're not in foster care, we could still go about social media life and filming our life and everything. Um, I don't know if you know this, but children in foster care cannot be on social media for safety, um, confidentiality reasons, but these two kiddos would not be a foster care placement. So we'll see how things shake out moving forward. What are your thoughts on this? Are you surprised? Do you think Alicia's going to adopt more kids eventually, or do you think she's just going to slowly let her family reduce down to a manageable size? Let me know. Anyway, that's it for me. I want to thank everyone for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!